Hello and welcome to another edition of Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Today we're going to look at Nils Vanderpaal, who's a very unorthodox skater from Sweden. He was a great junior um, back in the mid, uh, you know, 2010s, 2014, 2015, right around there. Just really stellar junior. Took some time off, uh, went into the Swedish Army, um, came back last year really strong, with some incredible races and a world record in the 10,000. Um, so I wanted to show you something that he does extremely well, and that is abandon the push. I've told you about that before. In distance skating, you want to get the heck off that skate and move with the lead skate. Move with the lead, okay? I'll show you what I mean right now. Watch how he swings into this pressure and immediately he carves this skate, lots and lots of pressure on that skate and goes with this. Look where his chin is already. It happens so fast. Let's watch it in fast motion. It's like a pendulum. He skates he uses physics and his body weight. He's not using his quadriceps here. He's using his body weight and timing. Body weight and timing rule. In this era. It's not about grinding it out. It's not about grinding it out and pushing down in, put, well it is about pushing down in the ice, but it's not about pushing to the side and trying to get as much out of each push with the other skate on the ice as you can. You want to keep one skate on the ice, you want to power that and carve that skate right here. So at set down, first of all, come out over the skate. So you have to leave this skate early, leave the skate, abandon the push, get out over the other skate. You do that, again it's about the setup, not the push. In distance skating especially, it's about the setup. Are you in the right place at the right time, or aren't you? If you aren't, there's nothing you can do to make up for it. So it's about the setup, not the push. Your, your push is a function of where your body is in space. So watch this pressure here, dropping into the push. Notice the angle on this blade. That's a severe angle. In the old days, the blades would be more straight up and down. The hips would be more in the middle. Now, the best distance skaters, that blade is at a severe angle because they're coming across it so fast. They come across the blade so swiftly and so dynamically that they're out of that push fast. You're in and out. In and out. He's already way gone off that push, but he's still got pressure on it, see? So that's it. You work against this skate as long as you can, but you go over the other skate. Very dynamic. Again, it's like a pendulum swinging. Now he's out over that left. And he comes up, the amplitude is here. Now he's going to pop up a little. You can see his head go up higher. And then his head drops down. See that? What I want you to show you, what I want to show you is how much rest he's getting. This is all right here. Rest. Until there. That's where he starts his push. But again, he's not even pushing, he's using his body weight. If you can use your body weight, you don't have to push that hard. It just happens. It's under you. It's your body weight. And again, look at this beautiful angle of the blade. Very severe. Going away from the skate very fast and very early to get out over the other one. So look at where his head is as he's, as he's pressurizing, loading the skate. Totally loading the skate 
and going away from the skate. You're not going to push, put this skate down and push to the side. No, those days are over. No one's pushing to the side. You're driving down into the ice as hard as you can and moving against it and doing it swiftly. But first you have to get out over that skate because if you don't get out here, there's no way you can get this blade to go from here to here. And that's how you get speed and distance skating. You get your blade out here, you're out, your head's out here, and then you turn it over as quickly as you can. And you end up like this, and then you abandon the push. Okay? And that's what happens. Great power, great lines, amplitude coming down into the push. Release. Now, total rest. Again, look at him come up. Really good rest phase. Don't do anything if you don't, can't do anything. So if you're, if you're not ready for that, it's about the setup. Now he's doing it again, see? So he gets lots and lots of rest, and then in that push and out of it. So what he's doing, he's locking the pressure on that skate as hard as he can with his body weight. Everything's a unit. You're a functional unit. It's not disparate pieces. Everything works together. And he's doing that very well. Really extreme pressure, extreme angle, and going with this skate really early. So he can get out over the other one and do the same thing. But at the same time, he's got a lot, a big load there, and he just lets it go. So after it's loaded, after you get basically through here, you let the push go because there's not much you can do with it. It'll hold you back. So get out of there and get over the other push because the important part is always under your hips. The further it goes out this way, the less you get from it. And the more this collapses, the less you get. So all the pressure is under your hips. So move with that lead skate, pressurize the one skate, abandon the push, get out over the other one, Come up out over it, get rest, and then completely load it again severely. This is amazing how quickly he does this. Look at that. He's like a pendulum. So it's much harder than it seems, distance skaters, but you can do it. Remember, it's about the setup, not the push. It's about your body weight where your body weight is in space, and it's about the pressure on the bottom of the blade and being outside that blade at the beginning and then abandoning the push when the blade is like that. So you want to come across the blade with a lot of speed. Come across it hard down in the ice with a lot of speed. Come up and release and then do it again. And that's, that's the formula on the straightaways if you want to get good rest and good pressure. So let me know any comments on that. Um, straightaways are complicated, so I hope you understand this, and uh, feel free to leave me comments and questions, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.